Hello, folks, and welcome to a very rushed edition of, well, the hobo and still looking for his girlfriend podcast or YouTube show. Um, these are my TLC predictions. So hit my music. Yeah, that's my music, I guess. And I'll figure something out. But I'm going to talk about TLC. So I don't have time to put my headphones in, make things sound good, because I actually have to get ready for work. Yes, it's one of those days. So therefore, I have my match card, or what I assume to be my match card. Because I never know what happens. And quite honestly, the rest of the WWE universe never knows what happens either. And wow, this actually sounds better. This is a good, this, this chair's comfy too. Oh, it's comfy, but it's a little bit lower. It's better for close-up stuff when I really have to read stuff. But enough about that intro stuff. Let's talk about TLC. Um, it'll be interesting. See here. We'll say the first match. I have no idea what, what order this is in, except for maybe the last two. You have the Viking Raiders. And this is going to be the bonus... The, the fact that the Viking Raiders are going to take on Flash Morgan Webster and his partner. Oh, it's so going to be Morgan and Webster coming over from uh, UK. I guess they're going to answer the open challenge, especially since the Street Profits got beat up as my bonus match. Because they're supposed to have a match, they have an open challenge. And let's see, let me back just a little bit more. There we go. Uh, then, <laughs> unfortunately, the snooze match. It's going to be Bailey taking on Lacey Evans. Uh, oh, wait, who do I have winning in the first match? I have the Viking Raiders winning. That's, that's whatever. That's a given. They're not losing to Morgan and Webster. Circle that. Um, in this match, the snooze match, we have Bailey taking on Lacey Evans. I don't even care. Uh, Bailey's gonna win. I think as a double bonus. Sasha Banks comes out and helps her. Bailey wins somehow. And that's a double bonus. Wow, just two bonuses. Then we have Alistair Black taking on Buddy Murphy. Alistair Black's winning. This is going to be a really fun match, though. I have no idea what's going to happen. But Alistair Black's going to win. They're not having him lose to Buddy Murphy anytime soon. Then we have Rusev taking on Bobby Lashley, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Rusev has to win, unless they're going to prolong this, which I hope they don't do, until till the next big pay-per-view is um, oh, Royal Rumble. So I hope they just end this and get this done and over with. Rusev wins. Probably in the match of the night, because this will be probably the most entertaining match of the night. The match of the night will be the New Day, New Day Rock, New Day Rock, taking on the Revival. And this is actually, no, it's not actually heel heavy. That's good. So I, I have the Revival winning. Mainly because they can hot potato those belts. And that'll actually be fun. I think this is only belts I have changing hands. So they always have some belt change hands. I have to make things a little bit interesting. Then we have Roman Reigns taking on King Baron Corbin. Uh, Roman Reigns is definitely winning that feud. Uh, Robert Roode's out because he was doing things he should not be doing. Robert. That's the tisk. Then we have the so Roman Reigns wins that, and we have the Kabuki Warriors of Evil Asuka and Evil Evil Kyrie 
So cute, though. But good to be Eel. Taking on Becky Lynch and woo, Charlotte Flair. This was a toss-up to be the snooze match, but I figured the Kabuki Warriors are so good they could actually carry this match. Kabuki Warriors, they are retaining their women's championship belts. Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair, I think, are going to implode after a while. Or there's going to be some kind of wonky finish. No matter what happens, the Kabuki Warriors win. And then in my stone cold lock. It's going to be Bray Wyatt the Fiend beating The Miz. Even though, I think, I forget if this is, this is a title or non-title match. But Bray Wyatt's going to beat The Miz. This is going to be good. And who knows, maybe one, we might see Liv Morgan there? Indeed. And that's TLC as far as I know. I think the WWE literally just figured stuff out probably this morning. You probably haven't even done all that stuff. I'll probably figure it out tomorrow morning. Well, uh, that's it. Um, I'm going to be doing my live stream r r, &R show. No live wrestling. Maybe five seconds of each match. Maybe five. Because if not, they copyright song me and, and I sit in, 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 hobo, in hobo corner over there. Um, so that's it. Next week's kind of a normal schedule. Monday. So Sunday is going to be TLC. Monday. Raw. Wednesday, AEW. I have to work again Tuesday night. I am going to see if I can maybe do a triple header videos Thursday. Trying to catch up on the NWA. So far behind. Again, it's, it's a work thing. When you have to work, you have to work. You have to get paid somehow. Uh, Friday's SmackDown. Then I, I feel it for wow, a whole weekend. So other than that, again, I'll see everyone. I'll probably be up here 7.30. Again, I have to work tomorrow a little bit later, so we'll see what happens. Bye, guys. And look forward to my...